All right guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about the truth about fake Nike SB Dunks. Should you buy fake Nike SB Dunks? So there was a good six month stretch where these companies from China were sending me fake Dunks pretty much every week. So I've skated like dozens of fake SB Dunks. So today I wanna to share with you guys my experience before you go and spend $180 on fake Dunks. So I guess the first question about fake dunks is whether or not it's even legal to buy these and it's not. The companies that are making these shoes are infringing on Nike's intellectual property and by buying them, you are purchasing a counterfeit. But the fact of the matter is that historically, Nike SB Dunks have been so hard to get that people take their chances because the odds of you actually getting caught and getting in trouble are uh, seem to generally be pretty low. But that's definitely something you should know before you ever go down the fake dunk route. Now, like I said, I never purchased any of these. They were all sent to me so I don't know where that puts me. There are also concerns of like legitimacy of who you're buying from, whether or not you're gonna get scammed. So that's another risk that you're taking by buying fake Nike SB Dunks. So I think you should just know like the risks and really like what you're getting into before you pay money for fake. So the next thing you probably wanna know is how do fake Nike SB Dunks compare to the real ones. So like I said earlier, I've skated like dozens of fake Nike SB Dunks. Some of them are really, really good and some of them are really, really bad. Typically the, the main giveaway to know whether it's a fake or not comes down to this uh, toe panel. On regular Dunks, this toe panel is a little bit more slimmer, low profile, it, like the silhouette looks really nice and it flows really nicely. With the fakes, the toe is gonna usually be a little bit big. Some of them, are, are really good. The first pair I was ever sent, they got that part like spot on. But other than that pair, like every other pair that I had had a varying degree of like this toe panel right here, just looking super jacked up. These ones aren't too bad, but if you compare, you can definitely see that they look a little bit just like not quite right. Another giveaway you'll find is these ones look pretty good, but usually with the fakes, the paint on the outsole will usually like drip over to where it's not supposed to be. So usually like the tread is one color and then you've got the white right here and a lot of times you'll see like the lines aren't completely straight as well like the back of the shoe sometimes it'll just look like the the shape of it is like warped and then the embroidery back here on the Nike a lot of times that's not gonna look super great either you also notice on regular dunks this little uh, I think it's called a phylon midsole it's like inset into the shoe a little bit these ones are pretty good but on fakes a lot of times it'll be either like two inset or flush with the outsole. So like here and there, there's just a lot of things manufacturing wise that these companies aren't really strict about. People even make fun of Nike saying that their quality control is not very good. But obviously when you're dealing with replicas, it's gonna be even worse. So as far as how the Nike SB Dunks look, you're really never gonna know until you're holding them in your hands because depending on who made them and what factory, they could be really good or they could be really bad. Now the next question, is how do they feel on your feet? Again, this varies. I would say for the most part, most of the fake dunks that I got felt good. They were comfortable. The main issue I had is sometimes that they would like slip off your foot because the silhouette is not always like 100% dialed in. And so instead of hugging your foot like a shoe is supposed to, and rather than them just like making a good shoe, they're basically making a copy of somebody else's shoe. So I mean, some of them feel really, really good on your feet, really, really comfortable. Comfortable. Some of them feel really, really uncomfortable. But for the most part, the Nike SB Dunk shoe has a lot of padding. So even with the replicas, they feel good on your feet. However, it's a little bit more tricky when you're actually skating in the shoes. So the biggest thing is this toe right here. When you go to flick, like I said, this one is not too bad, but this panel I've seen on some fake dunks is like that big. It goes up super high. So that pretty much destroying any chance of having like a precise flick as well. If you look at Nike SB Dunks, they have a nice like taper roundness to them. So they give you a little bit better flick and obviously Dunks are a chunkier shoe to begin with. So taking a, a chunk 
funky silhouette and then blowing up this toe panel, that can really mess with your kick flips. Like you can see on these ones, just how much wear I was getting along this toe panel right here. Where for me, I normally wear out the rubber first before I really make much contact with the actual upper of the shoe. But with these ones, because the toe is a little bit higher, I made a lot of contact with the upper, which for some people, maybe they, maybe they like, maybe they don't like. But the sucky thing about it is that every rep dunk that you get is gonna be slightly different. So for me as a skater, I like skating the same shoe over and over and over again because I feel like I don't have to think about what's on my feet, it just feels right. But with these fake dunks, each time you put a new pair on, you have to get used to like the little minor details and like things that are just a little bit different from the last pair that you skated. So it feels pretty much the same, like 80% the same. And then there's like a 20% difference in the way that it flicks. I've even had like these shoes for me heel flip really, really well. And then some fake dunks, I like can't seem to feel the flick on my heel flips. So again, it just comes down to like the inconsistency, but that's kind of what you're dealing with when you're getting knockoff shoes. Like you can't expect it to be up to Nike standards. The other thing that I've noticed is on some of these shoes, as far as the durability goes, the outsole wears out really quick. These ones are actually pretty good, but the first pair of fake dunks that were sent to me, they wore out in about two weeks. They were the best looking pair that I received by far, but they fell apart in two weeks. Outsole was wearing down, we're getting holes all the way through the shoe. Like pretty much worst case scenario, they felt, they felt great skating in them, but they just fell apart really, really fast. Then I've had other dunks that lasted me like six weeks of skating. But again, just when you're dealing with replicas, it's just gonna vary. You're never gonna get the same shoe twice. At the end of the day, the big question is, are these shoes worth it? Typically, these reps will run you from like anywhere from 160 to 180 US dollar. The typical range for retail Nike SB Dunks is anywhere from like 100 to 120, sometimes 130. So these fakes are significantly more expensive than the real Nike SB Dunks. They're not as durable. Like I said, the quality is inconsistent. It varies from one to the next. And to kind of like top all of that off, right now, if you search Nike SB Dunks in Google, you're gonna find CCS, Skate Warehouse, and some other like skate shop online retailers that have Dunks sitting there. So in the past, due to robots and resellers buying up the whole supply of Nike SB Dunks, they were able to artificially jack up the prices on resale sites like StockX or Goat. And you saw $100 shoes going for $200, $300, just like ridiculous prices. But now, Nike has taken measures to really cut off the resellers so that there's more Nike SB shoes for actual skateboarders. So you can go ahead and find yourself a pair of Nike SB Dunks at retail for 120, 130 and get the actual thing and not have to worry about whether or not you're gonna get a good shoe and you're not gonna be spending $180, you know, $50 over retail for a crappier version of the same shoe. So you're probably thinking to yourself like, Joe, you skated these shoes these fake Nike SB Dunks for a really long time. If they're so bad, like why would you even skate them? For me, it was simple. Option A was to spend $100 a month for my own skate shoes, or option B was to get shoes for free that maybe weren't exactly spot on, maybe weren't the most durable, but I wasn't gonna be like picky when they were free, you know what I mean? I would rather skate free shoes than pay for them myself. And ultimately, the companies kind of stopped hitting me up because they wanted me to more like sell them to you guys and like I didn't really feel good about that because at first I didn't really understand the differences between these and regular Nike SB Dunks but then over time as I skated more and more pairs and started picking up on things and noticing like subtle differences things that were off and found out that it was illegal and just all these things added up it, it just wasn't worth it to me to be out here like peddling fake dunks so I would much rather just pay for my own actual dunks that last long and skate well I definitely would not spend $180 for a pair of fake dunks to skate. I understand some people there's like a colorway or an iconic dunk that there's no way they can get their hands on it anymore and so they go the fake route for that and I completely understand that but I would never spend $180 especially if the quality is going to be sus every single time that I get it. So that's kind of the story with the fake dunks. That's my experience with them. Let me know in the comments below what your experience has been like and if you have any questions about them. I've taken down 
on all the videos that I made about fake dunks because I don't want to get into any legal problems with Nike and I definitely don't want YouTube to take down my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to make every single day a Friday and I'll see you in the next one.